Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded September 1st, 2015. This episode is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. And by Cyberry. Get the latest hacking and security training from cyberry.it. Visit hacknaked.tv forward slash cyberry for a, rural, for, for a referral link. I'm Aaron Lyons, and today we're going to be covering all the good InfoSec news from the past week. So up first, we want to just touch base on the ubiquity email scam, CEO phishing, whatever you want to call it. Um, what's interesting, not so much what's interesting about the ubiquity um, scam here that they lost you know around 40 million dollars so the FBI came forward and has said that US businesses have lost 1.2 billion dollars in total to such scams and from October 2013 through August 2015 they've lost a total of 720 million dollars that is a lot of money i think uh Businesses really need to step up their game here on phishing and, you know, put some additional controls in, into effect here to prevent large sums of money being transferred to people it shouldn't be. Um, also, Ashley Madison, you know, the breach that everyone loves to talk about. Um, not to keep on beating this dead horse, but the CEO of uh, Ashley Madison uh, just resigned, joining uh, other CEOs such as Targets and the OPM director as uh, CEOs and directors that have lost their jobs after a big breach. Uh, you know, we always love to have those uh, fear stories, ghost stories, infosec ghost stories that we can parade in front of our our. Uh, Sea levels. And this is another one. Also, the NSA's bulk collection, which was supposed to end last week on August 28th, has been extended yet again to November 28th, this time by the Federal Foreign Intelligence Court, another secret court. Uh, so my question is, are we just going to see uh, repeated extensions of three months from now till the end of the time by foreign courts that we never have access to the documentation of because of national security. Also, the NSA director, Admiral Michael Rogers, is still pushing for backdoors and encryption. I thought this boat had sailed and everyone decided it was a bad idea. Obviously, everyone but the NSA. Um, what else? Oh, U.S. and China, OPM breach. Uh, that still hasn't gone away. The OP the not the OPM, the U.S. is redditing an unprecedented sanctions to levy against China for the breach. More on that in the coming weeks. Uh, GitHub, to continue on our China theme, is still under denial of service attack from China. Uh, this time, uh, Chinese developers are being forced to remove their code by the Chinese police, and the Chinese government is directing denial of service attacks against GitHub. Seems like GitHub just can't catch a break here. Uh, and then finally, as a footnote, starting today, September 1st, Chrome is going to be blocking flash ads on site. No more flash ads. Hopefully the mal malware, mal advertising schemes will take a serious hit from that. And Browsing will be slightly safer for for us in the future. That's it for today's Hack Naked TV. You can reach us at the show at hacknaked.tv. Follow us on Twitter. Love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.